Hello and welcome to ImproveDrawing.com. In today's clip, I'm going to demonstrate how to draw a Zentangle pattern. Now, the first pattern we're going to uh, demonstrate today is one of the simpler Zentangles, which is ideal to try with children or with beginners or with people who are not as confident with their drawing. This, this Zentangle pattern is called the linked Zentangle. So what we have in front of us at the moment is our basic frame, which is eight and a half centimeters by eight and a half centimeters square. And I'm going to draw a slight border on the inside of it. Now you'll notice obviously when I'm drawing, it is the initial stages I will be drawing with a very faint line just to establish the main shapes. And I'm going to be working diagonally across on this particular pattern. Okay, so this is the linked centangle. So I'll just show you how to build up. Now, obviously, beginning here. Right, so we have our initial link drawn. You can obviously I'm drawing at the moment with a an H pencil, with a very fine line. Just making sure that the diagonal is correct. If it's not, we can go back and just check that. Now we're going to obviously add a little bit more detail to this now. So we're going to draw on the inside. Draw a line coming across. On the outside and across. And then basically I'm going to carry these lines on. So they create almost like a chain effect. Now with this entangle, basically, again, we're just going to repeat the pattern. Again, diagonally across. Same with the same size. and in the bottom area as well. Obviously at this stage, if you do make any mistakes, it's very, very easy to erase them. And to go back. Okay, now when you get to this stage, you're going to obviously add a little bit more definition to the sh shapes that you draw initially, just to make them stand out. 
and you can do this with a slightly darker pencil. I would suggest a, an HB pencil for this particular task. So then starting here. just defining the edge of the shapes. And then I'm just making the lines a little bit more definite. Now this is a Pretty simple pattern to draw, quite repetitive. So I would say it's probably it's quite ideal really if you're a beginner, something that you can try with children. Okay, and you can perfect it as you well as you practice. Now you can get a or read rather a full description of how to draw as entangle patterns for beginners at my blog improvedrawing.com where you can find a outline of how to draw as entangle patterns step by step for children. That's at improvedrawing.com. Now, also at this stage, if there's any sort of construction lines which are detracting or in the way, they can be erased very, very easily. Slight error there. Okay, and again, repeating the same process at this stage. Now you can use a fine line pen or a mechanical pencil to give you a little bit more precision, make the line stand out a little bit more, a bit more definition on the shapes, if that's what you're looking for. You can obviously practice these designs very, very easily in pencil. Okay, the next stage is to apply some tone. Now, obviously applying shading will allow these shapes to stand out a little bit more. So what I'm going to deal with or shade initially is the negative spaces. The negative spaces are the spaces in between the Zentangle shapes. 
and that will give them a lot more definition that they have at the moment. So I'm going to begin in the corners. It's always probably a good idea, sorry, I made a slight mistake error there, to begin at the top and work your way down, especially for shading or you're using felt tip or a fine liner. So it's from the bottom down. I'm just going to emphasize those outlines. And you'll see at the moment I'm using a softer grade pencil, which is a 3B pencil, which is quite a dark lead or dark grey graphite. So just emphasizing those shapes. And then beginning to add the shadows. Now it's always a good idea, I would say at this stage to lean on a tissue or a piece of separate sheet of paper to apply the shadows. Now the main idea here is really to get those shadows to stand out, those shapes to stand out as you are working. Try to be as precise as possible, not drawing over the lines, so clean cut edges. circular motions as you build up your pattern and you can see immediately the impact this area of dark tone has upon the Zentangle pattern it allows it to stand out and it really does give a a really good sense of contrast into the drawing introduces a sense of contrast. So we're going to repeat this process at the bottom of the drawing here. Now the pattern which I've drawn today which is the linked Zentang Zentangle pattern can be adapted, it can be changed around, it can be drawn in many, many different ways. This is a pretty, I would say, quite a simple approach with a simple diagonal. Okay, and I'll show you another example in a moment when I've finished. But you obviously when you become a little bit more competent and confident in your ability to draw Zentacles, you can experiment with different linked patterns or different combinations of linked shapes, okay, which will obviously be a slightly more advanced approach than the one we're taking here. And it, it really is an individual approach this. You don't have to copy, you can create your own design Okay, and just see where it takes you. Really, that is the beauty of Zentangle patterns. Is their versatility and their originality. And they are very enjoyable, quite calming and Satisfying to draw. Okay, into the corners now. So this gives you the emphasis, that geometric sort of square border at the edge of the pattern and at the top of the pattern here. So we're going to now obviously work into the corner. Okay, top. And again, repeat the same process.
and carefully move that away. Just take time now just to have a look at what you've actually produced. Are there any areas which require further attention or definition? Now I'm going to work now on the sort of negative spaces in between the links. Just emphasize them just a little bit more. Okay, again, following that rule at the top. So also a good idea to work from the edge, define the edge with the shadow, and then progress with the shading towards the center. Again here. again in the center at the bottom Okay, so I would repeat this process obviously at the top. Again, using the 3P pencil, the softer gray graphite, which is darker, which really does enable you to create the level of contrast that you need for this to be successful. Now you can click a link below in the information below to gain access to my blog, which will gain, which will give you detailed information of how to draw centagonal patterns with a full description. Now the last uh, thing I want to really focus on is the border, which will give you a little bit more definition. So I tend to use obviously a ruler, give that sort of sharp edge. It really does give the drawing a little bit more definition.
and you can be creative with the borders if you wish. So there we have it, the linked zentangle pattern. And the final stage is to sign. Thank you for watching.